Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are doing a cooling test between the stock AMD cooler and the Deepcool AG400+. I'll show how both perform at idle and under load while playing Valorant on my Ryzen 5 6600X. Let's see if the AG400 Plus really makes a difference. Starting off, let's look at the stock AMD cooler performance when the system is idle. As you can see here, the CPU temperature is holding steady at around 46 degrees Celsius. This is the baseline we are starting with before we switch over to the AG400 Plus. Now, Let's check out the Deepcool AG400 Plus cooler at idle. Right away, you can see the difference, it's sitting at around 42 degrees Celsius, which is about 4 degrees All Celsius right, lower than the stock cooler Go while idle again. we can't expect Damn, much. This reduction at good. idle is promising, so I'm up. interested to see how it handles the gaming load next. Alright, now let's put the stock cooler to the test while gaming. I'm running Valorant which is relatively CPU friendly but still gives us a good idea of how the cooler manages temperatures during gameplay. Here with the stock cooler, we are seeing temps around 68 degrees Celsius, which is pretty standard but could start throttling if the CPU gets hotter in more demanding tasks. Finally, let's switch over to the AG400 Plus during Valorant gameplay. Instantly, we are seeing a noticeable improvement. This cooler is keeping the CPU at around 53 degrees Celsius. That's a solid drop compared to the stock cooler and shows the AG400 Plus is definitely more efficient at handling heat during gaming sessions. So, there you have it. The Deepcool AG400 Plus cooler is clearly outperforming the stock AMD cooler, keeping idle temps lower and handling the heat better during gaming. For those looking to improve cooling on a mid-range setup like the Ryzen 5 6600 X the AG400 Plus is proving to be a worthwhile upgrade. Thanks for joining me for this test. If you found this helpful or have any questions about the AG400 Plus, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more unboxings, reviews, and PC build tips.